In decision theory, the von Neumann Morgenstern utility theorem shows that, under certain axioms of rational behavior, a decision maker faced with risky probabilistic outcomes of different choices will behave as if he or she is maximizing the expected value of some function defined over the potential outcomes at some specified point in the future. This function is known as the von Neumann Morgenstern utility function. The theorem is the basis for expected utility theory. In 1947, John von Neumann and Oskar Morgenstern proved that any individual whose preferences satisfied four axioms has a utility function, such an individual's preferences can be represented on an interval scale and the individual will always prefer actions that maximize expected utility. That is, they proved that an agent is VNM rational if and only if there exists a real valued function U defined by possible outcomes such that every preference of the agent is characterized by maximizing the expected value of U, which can then be defined as the agent's VNM utility it is unique up to adding a constant and multiplying by a positive scalar. No claim is made that the agent has a «conscious desire» to maximize U, only that U exists. Any individual whose preferences violate von Neumann and Morgenstern's axioms would agree to a Dutch book, which is a set of bets that necessarily leads to a loss. Therefore, it is arguable that any individual who violates the axioms is irrational. The expected utility hypothesis is that rationality can be modeled as maximizing an expected value, which given the theorem, can be summarized as, "...rationality is VNM rationality." VNM utility is a decision utility in that it is used to describe decision preferences. It is related but not equivalent to so-called e-utilities experience utilities, notions of utility intended to measure happiness such as that of Bentham's greatest happiness principle. <laughs> Setup In the theorem, an individual agent is faced with options called lotteries. Given some mutually exclusive outcomes, a lottery is a scenario where each outcome will happen with a given probability, all probabilities summing to one. For example, for two outcomes A and B, L equals 0.25 A plus 0.75 B Display style L equals 0.25 A plus 0.75 B denotes a scenario where P A topic 25% is the probability of A occurring and phosphorus monoboride. 75% and exactly one of them will occur. More generally, for a lottery with many possible outcomes AI, we write L equals P I A I display style L equals sum P underscore I A underscore I with the sum of the P I display style P underscore I S equaling one. The outcomes in a lottery can themselves be lotteries between other outcomes, and the expanded expression is considered an equivalent lottery, 0.5 0.5a plus 0.5b plus 0.5c equals 0.25a plus 0.25b plus 0.50c. If lottery M is preferred over lottery L, we write L M or equivalently m l display style m s u c c l if the agent is indifferent between l and m we write the indifference relation l m display style l sim m if m is either preferred over or viewed with indifference relative to l we write l m display style l presec m topic the axioms the four axioms of vnm rationality are then completeness transitivity continuity and independence completeness assumes that an individual has well defined preferences 
axiom 1 completeness for any lotteries l m exactly one of the following holds l m display style l prec m m l display style m prec l or l m display style l sim m either m is preferred l is preferred or the individual is indifferent Transitivity assumes that preferences are consistent across any three options. Axiom two: Transitivity. If L M display style L prec M and M N display style M prec N, then L N display style L prec N, and similarly for display style sim continuity assumes that there is a tipping point between being better than and worse than a given middle option axiom 3 continuity if l m n display style l presec m presec n then there exists a probability p element of 0 1 Display style p in zero one such that p l plus one minus p n m display style place plus one p n sim m where the notation on the left side refers to a situation in which l is received with probability p and n is received with probability one p. Instead of continuity, an alternative axiom can be assumed that does not involve a precise equality, called the Archimedean property. It says that any separation in preference can be maintained under a sufficiently small deviation in probabilities. Axiom 3 feet Archimedean property, if L M N then there exists a probability epsilon element of 0 1 display style var epsilon in 0 1 such that 1 minus epsilon l plus epsilon n m epsilon l plus 1 minus epsilon n display style 1 var epsilon l plus var epsilon n preq m preq var epsilon l plus 1 var epsilon n only one of 3 and 3 feet need be assumed and the other will be implied by the theorem independence of irrelevant alternatives assumes that a preference holds independently of the possibility of another outcome Axiom four independence if L M display style L presec M then for any N display style N and P element of zero one display style P in zero one P L plus one Minus p n p m plus one minus p n display style place plus one p n presec p m plus one p n. The independence axiom implies the axiom on reduction of compound lotteries. Axiom four feet reduction of compound lotteries for any lotteries L L N display style L L N any P Q element of zero one display style P Q in zero one I F L Q L plus one minus Q 
n display style if q quad l sim q l plus one q n t h e n p l plus one minus p n p q l plus one minus p q n Display style then quad place plus one p n sim p q l plus one p q n to see how axiom four implies axiom four feet set m equals q l plus one minus q n display style m equals q l plus one q n in the expression in axiom 4 and expand topic the theorem for any v and m rational agent ie satisfying axioms 1 to 4 there exists a function u which assigns to each outcome a a real number u a such that for any two lotteries lmifandonlyfe u l e u m display style l preq m q quad mathrm if and only if q quad e u l where e u l or more briefly u l is given by e u p one a one plus plus p n a n equals p one u a one plus plus p and u a n display style u p underscore one r underscore one plus l dots plus p underscore n a underscore n equals p underscore one u a underscore one plus c d o t s plus p underscore n u a underscore n as such you can be uniquely determined up to adding a constant and multiplying by a positive scalar by preferences between simple lotteries meaning those of the form par plus one minus p b having only two outcomes Outcomes. Conversely, any agent acting to maximize the expectation of a function u will obey axioms 1 to 4. Such a function is called the agents von Neumann Morgenstern utility. Proof sketch The proof is constructive, it shows how the desired function u can be built. Here we outline the construction process for the case in which the number of sure outcomes is finite. Suppose there are n sure outcomes a 1 a n display style a underscore 1 dots a underscore n. Note that every sure outcome can be seen as a lottery. It is a degenerate lottery in which the outcome is selected with probability 1. Hence, by the completeness axiom, it is possible to order the outcomes from worst to best. A one a two a n display style a underscore one presec a underscore two presec c d o t s presec a underscore n. We assume that at least one of the inequalities is strict, otherwise the utility function is trivial, a constant. So. One a n display style a underscore one pre k underscore n. We use these two extreme outcomes, the worst and the best, as the scaling unit of our utility function, and define u a one equals zero display style u a underscore one equals zero and u a n equals one display style u a underscore n equals one for every probability p element of zero one display style p in zero one define a lottery that selects the best outcome with probability p display style p and the worst outcome otherwise l p equals p a n plus 1 minus p a 1 
Display style L P equals P C D O T A underscore N plus one P C D O T A underscore one Note that L zero a one Display style L zero sim A underscore one and L one A N Display style L one sim A underscore N by the continuity axiom, for every sure outcome, a i display style a underscore i, there is a probability q i display style q underscore i such that l q i a i display style l q underscore i sim a underscore i and zero equals q one q two q n equals one display style zero equals q underscore one l e q q underscore two l e q c d o t s l e q q underscore n equals one for every i display style i the utility function for outcome a i display style a underscore i is defined as u a i equals q i display style u a underscore i equals q underscore i so the utility of every lottery m equals i P I A I display style m equals sum underscore i p underscore i a underscore i is the expectation of u u m equals u i p i a i equals i P I U A I equals I P I Q I display style U M equals U sum underscore I P underscore I A underscore I equals sum underscore I P underscore I U A underscore I equals sum underscore I P underscore I Q underscore I to see why this utility function makes sense, consider a lottery M equals I P I A I dis playstyle M equals sum underscore I P underscore I A underscore I which selects outcome A I displaystyle A underscore I with probability p i display style p underscore i, but by our assumption, the decision maker is indifferent between the sure outcome a i display style a underscore i and the lottery q i a n plus one minus Q I a one display style Q underscore I C D O T A underscore N plus one Q underscore I C D O T A underscore one. So, by the reduction axiom, he is indifferent between the lottery M display style M and the following lottery M equals I P I Q I A N plus one minus Q I A one display style M equals sum underscore I P underscore I Q underscore I C D O T A underscore N plus one Q underscore I C D O T A underscore one 
m equals i p i q i a n plus i p i 1 minus q i a one display style m equals sum underscore i p underscore i q underscore i c d o t a underscore n plus sum underscore i p underscore i one q underscore i c d o t a underscore one m equals u m a n plus one minus u m a one display style m equals u m c d o t a underscore n plus one u m c d o t a underscore one the lottery m display style m is in effect a lottery in which the best outcome is one with probability u m display style u m and the worst outcome otherwise hence if u m greater than u l display style u m greater than u l a rational decision maker would prefer the lottery m display style m over the lottery l display style l because it gives him a larger chance to win the best outcome Hence, LM display style L prechem if and only if E U L E U M display style E U L. Topic reaction. Von Neumann and Morgenstern anticipated surprise at the strength of their conclusion. But according to them, the reason their utility function works is that it is constructed precisely to fill the role of something whose expectation is maximized. Many economists will feel that we are assuming far too much. Have we not shown too much? As far as we can see, our postulates are plausible. We have practically defined numerical utility as being that thing for which the calculus of mathematical expectations is legitimate. VNM 1953, section 3.1.1p.16 and section 3.7.1p.28. Thus, the content of the theorem is that the construction of U is possible, and they claim little about its nature. topic consequences topic automatic consideration of risk aversion it is often the case that a person faced with real world gambles with money does not act to maximize the expected value of their dollar assets for example a person who only possesses $1000 in savings may be reluctant to risk it all for a 20% chance odds to win $10000 even though 20% $10000 plus 80% $0 equals $2000 greater than 100% $1000 display style 20% plus 80 $0 equals $2000 greater than 100% $1000 however if the person is vn M rational, such facts are automatically accounted for in their utility function U. In this example, we could conclude that 20% U plus 80% U $0 U $1,000 display style 20% U $10 plus 80% U $0 where the dollar amounts here really represent outcomes cf. value, the three possible situations the individual could face. In particular, you can exhibit properties like U $1 plus U $1 does not equal U $2 without contradicting VNM rationality at all. This leads to a quantitative theory of monetary risk aversion. <laughs> Implications for the expected utility hypothesis In 1738, Daniel Bernoulli published a treatise in which he posits that rational behavior can be described as maximizing the expectation of a function u, which in particular need not be monetary valued, thus accounting for risk aversion. This is the expected utility hypothesis. As stated, the hypothesis may appear to be a bold claim. The aim of the expected utility theorem is to provide modest conditions i.e. axioms describing when the expected utility hypothesis holds, which can be evaluated directly and intuitively. The axioms should not be too numerous, their system is to be as simple and transparent as possible, and each axiom should have an immediate intuitive meaning by which its appropriateness may be judged directly. 
In a situation like ours this last requirement is particularly vital, in spite of its vagueness, we want to make an intuitive concept amenable to mathematical treatment and to see as clearly as possible what hypotheses this requires, V&M 1953 section 3.5.2, p. 25 as such, claims that the expected utility hypothesis does not characterize rationality must reject one of the VNM axioms. A variety of generalized expected utility theories have arisen, most of which drop or relax the independence axiom. Topic: <laughs> Implications for ethics and moral philosophy. Because the theorem assumes nothing about the nature of the possible outcomes of the gambles, they could be morally significant events, for instance involving the life, death, sickness, or health of others. A von neumann morgenstern rational agent is capable of acting with great concern for such events, sacrificing much personal wealth or well-being, and all of these actions will factor into the construction, definition of the agent's VNM utility function. In other words, both what is naturally perceived as personal gain", and what is naturally perceived as «altruism» are implicitly balanced in the VNM utility function of a VNM rational individual. Therefore, the full range of agent-focused to agent-neutral behaviors are possible with various VNM utility functions. If the utility of n is p m, p m a von Neumann Morgenstern rational agent must be indifferent between 1 n display style 1 n and p m plus 1 minus p 0 display style p m plus 1 p 0 an agent-focused von neumann morgenstern rational agent therefore cannot favor more equal, or «fair» distributions of utility between its own possible future selves. <laughs> <laughs> Distinctness from other notions of utility Some utilitarian moral theories are concerned with quantities called the «total utility» and average utility of collectives and characterize morality in terms of favoring the utility or happiness of others with disregard for one's own these notions can be related to but are distinct from vnm utility one vnm utility is a decision utility it is that according to which one decides and thus by definition cannot be something which one disregards 2 VNM utility is not canonically additive across multiple individuals see limitations, so, "...total VNM utility", and "...average VNM utility", are not immediately meaningful some sort of normalization assumption is required, the term e-utility for "...experience utility", has been coined to refer to the types of "...hedonistic", utility like that of Bentham's greatest happiness principle. Since morality affects decisions, a VNM rational agent's morals will affect the definition of its own utility function see above. Thus, the morality of a VNM rational agent can be characterized by correlation of the agent's VNM utility with the VNM utility, e-utility, or «happiness» of others, among other means, but not by disregard for the agent's own VNM utility, a contradiction in terms. Topic: Limitations. Topic: Nested gambling. Since if L and M are lotteries, then place plus one minus p m is simply expanded out and considered a lottery itself. The VNM formalism ignores what may be experienced as nested gambling. This is related to the Ellsberg problem where people choose to avoid the perception of risks about risks. Von Neumann and Morgenstern recognized this limitation. Concepts like a specific utility of gambling cannot be formulated free of contradiction on this level. This may seem to be a paradoxical assertion. 
but anybody who has seriously tried to axiomatize that elusive concept, will probably concur with it." VNM 1953 § 3.7.1, p. 28. Incomparability between agents Since for any two VNM agents X and Y, their VNM utility functions UX and UY are only determined up to additive constants and multiplicative positive scalars, the theorem does not provide any canonical way to compare the two. Hence expressions like ux L plus ui L and ux L minus ui L are not canonically defined, nor are comparisons like ux L total VNM utility and average VNM utility of a population are not canonically meaningful without normalization assumptions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Applicability to economics. The expected utility hypothesis, as applied to economics, has limited predictive accuracy, simply because in practice, humans do not always behave VNM rationally. This is manifested in several experimental outcomes such as the Alice paradox. This can be interpreted as evidence that humans are not always rational, or VNM rationality is not an appropriate characterization of rationality, or some combination of both, or humans do behave VNM rationally but the objective evaluation of U and the construction of U are intractable problems. References and further reading <references>